question we need to figure out the value of r if this equation is true yes this equation is 9p5 plus 5 times 9p4 which is equals to what 10pr so let me recall one very important formula for this particular scenario which is what this npr plus r times npr minus 1 is equals to what n plus 1 pr let us understand this formula so here n and n both are same okay so this is 9 this is also 9 i am talking about the right hand side okay so 9 and 9 so n over here is equals to what 9 sorted this particular term which is in front of npr minus 1 is what r and what we have is 5 so that means r will be equals to 5 if i have this term as well that means r minus 1 5 minus 1 is what 4 so we have this as well 5 multiply 9p4 means that r is equals to 5 now this rhs completely is creating this lhs of my formula yes where n is equals to 9 and r is equals to 5 and this would be equal to what n plus 1 pr where n is what 9 so this will be equal to what 10 p 5 but it is given in the question that this is equals to what 10 pr okay so 10 pr will be equals to 10 p 5 if and only if r will be equals to 5 so final answer of this particular question is clear cut option c 5 easy peasy isn't it in this question, we need to figure out the total numbers that can be made by using the digits 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8 lying between 3000 and 4000 which are divisible by 5 while the repetition is not allowed. So, there are so many conditions involved. The first condition is we need to use these digits only 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, got it. Now, the number should lie between these two values, 3000 to 4000. Got it. Number should be divisible by 5 always and repetition is not allowed. So, we'll do it. Okay. We'll take care of everything and we'll solve this and get the answer. Yes. Okay. So, digits are what? 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay. So, digits will be between 3000 and 4000. For that, for that, the first digit cannot be 4. Right. And the first digit cannot be 5 as well. It cannot be 6 cannot be 7 it cannot be 8 so the only digit which is left over here is 3 right if the first digit is 4 or 5 or 6 or 7 or 8 that means the number will not lie between 3000 and 4000 got it first condition is sorted the number will definitely lie between 3000 and 4000 when the first digit is 3 okay the next condition says that the number should be divisible by 5 when the number is divisible by 5, the last digit either should be 0 or 5. But 0 is not available. So, I will fix 5 over here. So, 3 is gone. 5 is gone. Remember, repetition is not allowed. So, 3 is gone. Once used, we cannot use this twice. And similarly, 5 is also gone. Okay. So, now we have what? 4, 6, 7 and 8. 4 digits are there. 2 places are there. Four digits are there. Two places are there. Okay. So, how can we arrange four digits in two places? By 4P2 simply. We'll pick two digits out of these four digits selection. And then we'll arrange. So, 4P2. That is permutation. Right. So, here 4P2 will give me an answer. Or what we can do is we have four digits, two places. So, first place can be filled by four ways. Then one digit is gone. Yes. And the second place can be filled by three ways. So, 4 multiply 3 will be equals to what? 12. 12 is the answer. And 4P2, if you solve this, you will get what? 12 as well. So, 4 factorial by what? 2 factorial, which will be equals to what? 4 multiply 3. Multiply 2 factorial by 2 factorial. So, it is what? 4 threes are 12. So, both things are getting me 12 as well. Right, so these two logics are one and same thing. Do you realize this? 4P2 is nothing but 4 multiply 3 and this places, vacant places logic is also same thing. So, 12 is the answer. Option A is the absolute correct answer. In this question, we need to figure out which among the following options are correct for n equals to 50 factorial. 
and the options are option A. We need to figure out the exponent of two in fifty factorial, exponent of three in fifty factorial, exponent of twenty four in fifty factorial, and the number of zeros at the end of fifty factorial. Okay, so what is the formula to calculate exponent of any number in exponent of any prime number in any factorial number right and the formula is this what is the formula even is the exponent of let's say prime number p1 of which number let's say n is equals to 50 factorial here small n will be 50 so small n will be 50 p1 is that prime number whose exponent we are interested in and e1 is the final value the number of exponents right and this symbol is of gif let's apply this formula you have studied this formula in session as well so exponent of 2 in 50 factorial will be equal to what e1 let's say right and e1 would be equals to what 50 by 2 gif plus 50 by 2 square gif plus 50 by 2 cube gif plus 50 by 2 raised to power 4 gif plus 50 by 2 raised to power 5 gif plus 50 yes i know you must be thinking till where i'll be, i'll be going yes so i'll stop it over here and i'll explain you till where till when we need to stop right so 50 by 2 gif even would be what 50 by 2 would be 25 gif of 25 25 only integer right 50 by 4, 50 by 4 is 12.5 and GIF of 12.5 is 12, right? 2 cube, which is 8, 8, 6 are 48. So, this would be what? 6 point something, right? 6 point something GIF, if you will take, what will you get? 6. Similarly, this would be what? 3 point something, isn't it? So, that would be what? GIF of 3 point something, 3. And 32, 2 raised to power 4, 5 is 32. So, 32 1 point something gif of that would be what 1 and this number is what 50 by 64 so that would be 0 point something are you are you getting my point the values are getting decreased right 0 point something gif will be what 0 and the value will further decreased and from here till the end the value would be what a fraction only and gif of fraction would be 0 so after this you'll be getting 0 0 0 and 0 the moment you get 0 the first 0 stop that's the idea so if you add these numbers what would you get 47 so how many twos are there in 50 factorial 47 got it so 47 twos are there let's now move ahead and talk about the exponent of 3 in 50 factorial so this is what 47 exponent of 3 3 is prime number again same formula but here e2 i'll mark it as e2 so, that would be what? 50 by 3 GIF plus 50 by 3 square GIF plus 50 by 3 cube GIF plus 50 by 3 raised to power 4 GIF and so on. Let's see up to when we need to calculate this. So, 3 ones are 3, 3 six are 18, 16 point something, right? This is 9, 9 fives are 45, so 5 point something. This is what? 27. 27 ones are 27, 27 twos are what? 54, so here 1 point something. And after this, you will be getting 81, so this is what? 0 point something fraction. The moment you get fraction, GIF fraction would be what? 0, you need to stop. Okay, this is 0, this is 1, this is 5, this is 16. So, exponent of 3 would be what? Exponent of 3 would be 16 plus 5 plus 1. So, 16 plus 5 is 21 plus 1 would be 22. So, 22 will be my answer, right? Now, we need to figure out exponent of 24. Yes, we need to figure out exponent of 24, right? And not 24, we need to break down because 24 is not a prime number. 24, let me write 24 over here and 24, if you break in into product of primes, you will get 2 cube multiply 3. So, 3, exponent of 3, we already know, exponent of 2, we already know, right? We just need to arrange our information. So, exponent of 2 in 50 factorial, we've already figured out is 47, right? And exponent of 2 cube would be what? So, here exponent of 2 is what? 
47. So there would be 47 twos, right? 2 raised to power 47. But what about if I want to write 2 cube? So uh, what I'll be doing is, I'll be writing 2 raised to power 45 multiply 2 raised to power 2 in place of 2 raised to power 47. Now 45 can be written as 3 multiply 15, isn't it? So here 2 cube raised to power 15 I can write. Right, and two, this 2 cube is nothing but 8. So, how many 8 are there? How many 8 are there? 15 8 are there. Yes, that's what I was trying to tell you. 15 8 are there. And these 2, the these 2 will be useless. Because I need one more 2 to make it 8. Are you getting my point? So, for, for sure, there would be exactly how many 8s? 15 8 would be there. 15 8 are there. 22 3 are there. Right? 8 raised to power 15 is there in 15 factorial, in 50 factorial. And 3 raised to power 22 is there. Right? But I need to make it 24. To make it 24, I need 1, 8 and 1, 3. Right? So, let's club them together. So 8 raised to power 15 multiply 3 raised to power 15 multiply 3 raised to power 7. So, this is what? 24 raised to power 15. Yes. 24 raised to power 15. That means short short I have how many 24? 15 24. So number of exponent in 50 factorial of 24 would be what? 15. This is my answer. Yes. That's how you calculate when the number is not prime. Mind it. 24 is not a prime number. Break it down in product of primes and then think about how to create that particular number. So 2 cube. So you need to calculate the exponent of 2, 3, you need to calculate exponent of 3 and then make it 2 cube and 3 raised to power 1. So, 2 cube and 3 raised to power 1. So, here this would be answer and separate all the numbers which you don't want and make it 24 just like this. So, 15 is the answer. Now, exponent of 5 we need to calculate. Yes, exponent of 5 we need to calculate. Same thing, 5 is prime number. So, 50 by 5 plus 50 by 5 square. Basically, why are we calculating uh, exponent of 5 and 50 factorial? That we need to understand first. So, the A option was we need to calculate, A option was we need to calculate exponent of 2, which we've already calculated. B option was we need to calculate exponent of 3, which we've already calculated. C option was we need to calculate exponent of 24, which we have already calculated. Option D says we need to calculate the number of zeros. At the end of 50 factorial. So, how will you get the 0? How will you get any 0 at the end of any number? So, 1, 0. For example, if you are talking about 20. How will you get this 0? For this 0, you need 110. Right? 110 will make 10. And 110 is comprises of 1, 5 and 1, 2. Are you getting my point? So, 110. Number of 10s you need to actually identify. So, Whenever you need to answer number of zeros in any x in any factorial, you look for number of exponent of 10 is equals to number of zeros at the end of any factorial number. Yes, that's the idea. So number of exponent of 10 you need to look for. Now 10 is not a prime number. 10 will be further breakdown in 2 and 5. 2 is already sorted. 5 we need to sort it out. That's why exponent of 5 we are calculating. Okay. This is for option number D. Are you getting my point? So, 50 by 5 quickly. GIF. 50 by 5 square quickly. GIF. 50 by 5 cube quickly. GIF. And so on. Let's see up to when we need to go. So, this would be what? 5. 1 is a 5. 10. Okay. This would be what? 2. 5 cube. 5 cube is 125. This would be 0 point something. Now, take GIF of everything. GIF of 10 would be 10. GIF of 2 would be 2. GIF of 0 point something would be what? 0. So, 12. 12, 5 are there. 12, 5 are there in 50 factorial. And how many 2s? 47 2s are there. So, 50 factorial comprises of 2 raised to power 47 and 5 raised to power 12. Yes. Now, we need to club them together. So, 12 2s I want. Now, rest 2s will be useless for me. So, 2 raised to power 12 multiply 5 raised to power 12. Rest 2 are useless because it needs, each, each 2 needs 1, 5. Right? 
So how many zeros are there? How many actually tens are there? So ten raised to power twelve would be there. So how many zeros would be there at the end? Twelve zeros. Okay, got it. So final answer of this particular question would be what? Option D for sure. Twelve zeros are there. And exponent of two forty seven. Okay. Exponent of three twenty two. Cool. Exponent of twenty four is fifteen. That is also cool. So A B C D. All options are correct.